Peace, peace, y'all. Welcome back to another episode of the Cliff Notes Podcast. Available everywhere you listen to your podcasts. Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, Stitcher, or at cliffnotes.com. Hey, yo, special shout out to the homie Ray Holiday. Local producer who linked me with this joint right here. So you know I had to use this joint on the intro. Check him out, man. Ray Holiday, R-E-Y Holiday. He's nice with it on the production. So salute to you, homie. Appreciate the love for real, for real. And yo, got a dope episode for y'all today, man. It's going to be a familiar voice. I had an opportunity to sit down and chop it up with the homie DJ OG1. Yeah, you know, official DJ for the Portland Trail Blazers. We talked a little bit about that, man, but it was mainly getting into some new things, man. We got Vision 2020 in the new year. We talked about leadertainment. We talked about Pac West Group. Man, stuff that you really want to be up on. So check out this latest episode, the Cliff Notes Podcast with the homie, DJ OG. One, 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 one. We just gonna see what's up, you know. Yeah. Uh, let me just bam. Uh, 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 uh. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. Welcome back to the Cliff Notes Podcast. Available everywhere you listen to your podcast. You can check us out at cliffnotes.com. We on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher, uh, Google iHeart. I ain't gonna just run out of the list, man. But you know, around the world, around Craig. the world, we, <laughs> <laughs> we literally. And I, I be trying to give shout outs, like you know, as I as I should, man. They rock with us. They rock with us in the UK, heavy. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Brazil consistently be be rocking with us. Um, all of that, man. So shout out, shout out to y'all. Um, if you haven't yet, you gotta check us out on the DJ Cliff YouTube channel. We on the video situation now. We, you know, we just doing it all. Um, and then, uh, of course, special thanks to everybody who supports the podcast in real tangible ways, man. I got to give a shout out right off top to my folk at Acapella Apparel. If you if you're checking us out on the on the YouTube page, which you should, you see I'm rocking a brand new Lion Heads joint. Acapella Apparel just released these. Um, they are That's available. Nice, man. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Good threads, good quality material. So shout out, shout out to Acapella. You can check them out at acapella.com. That's a k e p e l e dot com. Good folk, good clothing. You know what I'm saying? It's clothing for the music lifestyle. Um, so this voice, man, this this next voice, uh, it may sound familiar if you're just starting to get into the Cliff Notes podcast. Maybe you haven't gone that far back. You may not have heard the episode that we did, but the voice sounds familiar because, you know, whenever you hear that disclaimer about you need to put the babies to, to bed, this is the voice that you hear. <laughs> this is my homie, man. Um, like, you know, jokingly, we say it's, it's you know, we brothers from another mother. Um, just a just a solid, solid dude. And it's it's always like I feel I feel you know, especially blessed to be able to do stuff like this because it just means we get to hang out. Right. But um, but y'all let them know who you are. Man, DJ OG1, man. I'm hanging out here <laughs> with my bro. Like, for real, though, what you said is really, when I do these kind of things with you, uh, it's not really like an interview. It's like, okay, we're basically recording what we talk about anyway. Exactly. We're just hanging out. Word. Brothers hanging out, man. Word, so word. I'm, I'm glad to be hanging out with my bro, man. It's, up, it's 2020, bro. man. Yo, it's crazy, bro, that that we are actually in the year 2020. Like, you know, I, I, I'm not like a big New Year's resolution or whatever right. kind of guy. Me either. But I, I, I have to admit, man, when the, when, when we were at, at the end of, tw- of, of 2019 and I was prepping the show, the Welcome to the Neighborhood mm-hmm. show, like, okay, what do I want to do? This, that, and the third. Like, I couldn't help but think, though, this is not only the end of the year. It's the end of the decade. For real, man. You know, and then you go and you look back at the last 10 years and everything that's happened, you know, to you personally in your life, um, the good and the bad, you know, areas that you've grown, areas that you've maybe fallen off. Mm-hmm. Like, like 10 years, yo. That's crazy, B. Yeah. And then, obviously, asking the question, 
how can I do better? Like, how can I do better this year than I did last absolutely, year? Absolutely, man. Uh, and I think you're absolutely right. One of the things that I was looking at and kind of reflecting upon, and I do this, you know, often, but for some reason, you know, 2020 just made me kind of dig a little deeper, particularly because of the things that have gone on with me the last three years. Mm. And I had to look, okay, what have I done mm. over the last 10 years? Yeah. Like, I'm always talking about, you know, making an impact, wanting to do positive things. And so I really kind of dug deep and was like, what, OG1, David Jackson, mm -hmm. a.k.a. OG1, what have you accomplished over the last 10 years? And what were the challenges? And I had to weigh it out, and I was like, man, you know what? It's a lot easier to focus on what can be considered negative yeah but then i started looking at the things that i had accomplished and it was like wow 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 like i did a lot of things in the last decade that i need to i guess sit back and really um i don't want to say pat myself on the back but really uh have a uh, another level of appreciation of you know the work that I've done and again like you just said now what's next yeah like you've done that and you know you always hear the statement you're only as good as the last thing you did yeah yeah and so I was like okay I've done a lot of <laughs> things and you know coming up to 2019 and so what does 2020 and the next 10 years yeah look like for yeah. me yeah um, so one of the things that, that I know you've, you've celebrated somewhat over the last couple of years is in terms of the things you've done accomplished, uh, is you are in year 16 with the trailblazers? No, no, no. 12. This year is my 12, 12th year. 12th yeah. year. Okay. Okay. I was trying to remember, did you celebrate? Cause I knew it was a couple of years ago you hit a milestone. <laughs> right. I remember it was 15 years or 10 yeah. years, but 12 years is the NBA DJ. Yeah. That's, um, that's pretty significant. That's think about for a DJ here, right. historical. Right. It's never been done. Right. right. First DJ to do that. Um, blessed though, man. Bless, yeah. bless, 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 bless. Yeah. 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 It's nuts though, because you have I, when I think of that, I think of even in on using that platform, I think of how you have used it to share with other people. Yeah. Like how you have literally invited other DJs to spin in in that arena doing a trailblazer right. game. Now think about it. What DJ <laughs> in a platform like that playing in front of 20,000 would bring other dope DJs yeah. on? I ain't talking about like, it might be easier to, okay, if the DJ is, you know, subpar, mm -hmm. you know, and you know you, you on them. Right. No, the DJs that I put on the platform yeah. are dudes, I mean, think of DJ Wicked. Yeah. DJ Juggernaut. Yep. Uh, who else? DJ Chill, legendary. Word. These are cats that are, you know, legendary DJs. Yeah. And I put them on my platform. Yeah. So you, how many DJs you know would do that? Yeah, yeah. And I wasn't scared of it because, again, my whole thing is any of those platforms like that, my whole idea has been about how can I be most impactful mm -hmm. using the platform that God has given me. Mm -hmm. And so why not share? Yeah. Because if it's for me, I don't have to fear any other DJ. What God wants for me, I don't care if he was Kid Capri. Right. <laughs> right. That's how I see it. Yeah. I don't care if it's Jazzy Jeff, Kid Capri. If that spot is for me, yeah. you can bring the dopest that can be turning back flips and everything. It's going to be for me. Yeah. But so obviously that is a foundation for you in terms of maintaining that or holding on to that idea, holding on to that concept, the idea that it is something that is designed or that in essence you were put on this earth, a part of the reason that you were put on this earth to, 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 to fulfill that, that situation in this season, not mm -hmm. this NBA season, but like in this time. Right. Um, but that obviously – it's not, it's not, um, that's not the only 
way that you that you do that. I mean, when we look at your history, everything that you've done from um, being being a, a leader in working with youth um, through the, the the gang task force in Portland, mm-hmm. um, when we look at what you have done more recently in building relationships with the city of Portland mm-hmm. uh, to to have now Hip Hop Week be an annual situation. Like these things, there's that common thread that you have that you've kept through your life. Right. The 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 wonder of that is oftentimes you talk about, wow, I ran into this kid and now they're and doing adult. their thing. Right. And I can remember back when they were just a kid. Yeah. And and I had this relationship. So that's gotta be rewarding i would imagine man it's so great just recently um i did an event with uh nike Mm -hmm. um out at the uh, mlk uh, nike factory and i can't tell you it was a number of young people that are young adults now that i knew when they were elementary middle school kids that have kids now and have careers now that were coming up to me and hugging me and, and thanking me and i was just like wow and it was like you have no idea the impact that you had on my life when you were running your gang peace program, when you were uh, working with SEI, when you were out doing community events, when you DJ this party and you gave me a prize for good grades and things like that, man. And again, it made me reflect on, you know, the investment that you give. And again, I always wanted to use my platform to, to show other people, particularly in the music industry mm-hmm. that, you know, it, it, it pays to invest back. And I, I'm not just talking about monetary uh, investment, but time investment in other people because if it's just about you, mm-hmm. if it was just about OG1, mm-hmm. I keep it 100%. Mm-hmm. If it was just about me, uh, I'd be doing some other stuff. Yeah. <laughs> For real, I'm yeah. just keeping it 100. If it was just about me and if it was just about my success or if it was just about me being popular or famous or celebrity, any of that kind of stuff, Yeah. man, shoot. Nah, I'd be yeah. doing some other stuff. But I, I consciously made sacrifices. I sacrificed a lot of things. And looking over the last just 10 years, mm-hmm. You know, I look at one of the things that probably the most I felt like I sacrificed in that as I'm going into the new decade, yeah, yeah, keep I want to be uh, better at. And that is uh, making sure I take care of me, man. And when I say me, I'm not just talking about me as just my person, but everything that's that's close to me, be it my, my wife, my kids, uh, my my people that you know I could say fam uh, friends, but they're yeah. really family. Yeah. Uh, just being able to uh, cultivate and, and and nurture that a lot more better uh, than I have in the last you know couple of de- <laughs> decades. But um, you know that's the thing that I want to be better at is not changing my my giving, but uh, each year I try to come up with a model of sorts that I just kind of keep as a focus point. I know last year uh, was really uh, about clearing the clutter. That was my my thing. Clear the clutter. That's whether it's personally, professionally, just get rid of those things that are not really relevant. Mm -hmm. I like to have around, but they don't really play a part in anything. Yeah. You know, not necessarily bad or, or, you know, necessarily that but it's just it's just taking up space yeah and so going into this year is really not wasting time Mm. that's 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 heavy though because when you are have the habit of not doing that then how do you go about changing that yeah well it it starts with me Mm -hmm. i have to look in the mirror i have been looking in the mirror uh with the Good one, good eye. I do that. <laughs> uh, but really, <laughs> telling myself the truth, yeah. like, okay, oh, you like these things, mm-hmm. you like these people mm-hmm. a lot, mm-hmm. but who are you wasting time with? That's heavy, like, though. Yeah, and the thing is, it ain't about who don't you like. See, because if you don't like somebody, you can kind of ah, yeah, I'm kick that to the curb. Right. But what happens with people that you love and you like or things you love and like doing yeah. that you know 
play no significant part in helping you grow Mm -hmm. or advance. Um, And not that you don't spend any time with some things, you know, but how much time do you spend? Yeah. And that's the thing that I've been narrowing down as the year was closing last year, just saying, okay, I know what things I need to, you know, cut back on, not waste any time yeah. with those things I need to spend more time doing and be okay with people um, feeling like, oh, now he's this or he's that. Mm-hmm. I have to be okay with, you know, because it's I, I, I can't be in charge of how people, you know, feel about me. Right. I only can, you know, be in charge of how I deal with people. Yeah, yeah. The going through this process, I would imagine it will also um, allow for more space for you to live in your creative space. Oh, man. So um, I know we've talked about it. Man, we talked so much. I don't even know what we talked about <laughs> on the radio show. We talked about it here. I didn't realize the depth of your production. Mm. So knowing you now for, you know, for I don't even know how long I've known you. Um, and then, um, you know, building with both you and Star and and understanding Star Child, rest in peace, Star Child's um, career as an mm-hmm. MC. Yeah, I didn't realize how how connected you were to that in terms of I knew that you DJed for him, right? But I didn't know how connected you were in terms of the production piece. Yeah. So then once I started delving more into that, and we would talk more about that, and then because again I knew you more for all the work you've done as a DJ. Um, so in the last couple of years, that's something that I've seen you kind of kind of getting back into a little bit yeah. is your is your production situation. Yeah, um, you know, because a lot of people, again, they see me as a DJ, but I was, I came into the Portland scene uh, heavy on the production end of things. Word. I was, I was just making music. I just didn't know anybody here. Yeah. So when I finally connected with Star mm-hmm. and my man uh, DJ Sky D and no one else, uh, that whole crew just kind of ushered me in and kind of, um, I would say peer pressured me in a sense, but in a good way, like, you know, Hey man, you, you need to do this. If yeah. you're going to do it, you go ahead and do it. And so, um, that's why I put my first album out. We bring the heat and they was star child. You know, I had a number of people, uh, on that project and, um, then from there just got into doing beats and beats. And I just got frustrated, man, mm-hmm. because at that time where everybody was at, people weren't really paying for beats. Yeah back then yeah. and so it was like man i'm making all this music but i ain't getting no money I, i'm paying basically i'm paying mm-hmm. to make beats yeah. <laughs> and uh i think star child's album i produced probably like 90 percent, 95 probably percent of star child's album yeah yeah uh which i know you didn't know this was coming but um i'm gonna re-release his album oh word yeah that's gonna, what's up. Yeah, I'm going to re-release his album with a couple of, you know, extra goodies possibly <laughs> on it um, that uh, I have stashed. But um, but I'm going to re-release his album. But, yeah, his album was kind of like the last production of an album that I did before I took a break. Okay. And after his album, I took a break. I was working with the SEI. I produced a compilation yeah. um, with SEI and the students there. Great album uh, compilation there, talented kids. And then I took a break again. Yeah. Took a break and was like, oh, I'm cool. I'm just heavy into the DJ thing. And then um, just recently, just within the last couple of years, just like got the bug. Yeah. Got the bug and was like, no, I need to create. Because at that point in my recovery, I didn't know if I was going to be DJing. Right. Right. I didn't know. Yeah. So I just started hearing music, music in my head again mm-hmm. and i was like oh okay all right let me yeah. test the waters yeah. and there we go we got loyalty and we got some other thing projects uh you well know, no let's not let's not skip past that though <laughs> let's not skip past that so so you the 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 last the, the most recent um joint that you released and actually have visuals that you recently released as well is a joint called loyalty mm-hmm. um and a joint that you produced and then you reached out to some to some mcs to jump on the track, man. Talk about talk about that the song loyalty, the meaning behind it, right? The artists that you or the MCs you chose and why you chose them, right? So you know, again, every time I've created, I've always tried to create from a 
wherever I am in my life. Mm -hmm. I never like, okay, let me see what's going on with somebody else or whatever. It's always kind of been motivated by what are you dealing with right now? And so when my whole cancer situation happened, man, really it opened my mind, my eyes up to uh, who was loyal and who wasn't. Yeah. Up until that point, you know, I had a lot of people that, oh, you know, I rock with you, oh, and, and I do, oh, yeah, man, you this, this, that, my, you know, I, I ride with you. Mm -hmm. When I was in that hospital, man, there was a, a handful of people that even came to see me. Yeah. Now, granted, there was a, a, a when my boy DJ uh, Gigahertz, shout out to Gigahertz, uh, did the whole GoFundMe campaign and stuff, and I didn't even know he was doing that. Um but the mass majority of the support I got was not from people I knew. Mm -hmm. It was from people whose lives I was impacting that was watching me from afar yeah. and watching the stuff that I was doing. But people that I would have named and said, oh, yeah, this is like family or this person. Oh, I rocks with that person. Yeah. Or I did. None. Not even came and visit me in the hospital. Yeah. Not even gave me a call to say if, see if I was okay. So what that did, I didn't get mad at it, but it, it, it definitely humbled me and grounded me and made me look from a different perspective on how I see fanfare mm -hmm. versus people that really have an invested, invested interest in seeing me win. And so loyalty was the concept. When I put that beat together, the word loyalty just came, kept coming to my head, kept coming to my head. And so I'm not a rapper, so I'm like, man, who can I get to interpret some of the stuff I may be feeling? Mm -hmm. And as I listened to the beat, listened to the beat, this millennium came up. I said I knew he had a perspective based on things he's gone through mm -hmm. from street level, you know, on some other level. Then Kunas, obviously, mm -hmm. you know, someone who is a veteran, uh, well-respected, you know, uh, figure in the hip-hop scene. I know in many talks he and I have had about loyalty, yeah. I knew he would have a perspective. And then my new relationship with Brookfield Deuce over the last few years, um, I knew he would have a whole different perspective. And I didn't tell them what to write. Yeah. I said, the concept is loyalty. And they ran with it. Yeah. And what's and I knew it was it was supposed to be because when they start sending me the verses back, not one of them cursed. Mm -hmm. I didn't tell them, hey, you can't use profanity or explicit lyrics. I didn't. I said the concept is loyalty. Yeah, you interpret that however you want to interpret it. Yeah, yeah. And I watched each one of them bring brought their verses in. Uh, actually, Brookfield Deuce was writing his verse while he was talking to me. Wow. That's crazy. I didn't know that. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah, he was talking. He was like, yeah, man, you know, I know you want the song to be about loyalty. And he just started talking. We talked talk about life and kind of what I was going through. And he was like, yeah, kind of like, and he started spitting. And I was like, wait, why is this dude <laughs> saying these concepts? And then next thing you know, he, a few minutes later, he said, oh, yeah, I, I wrote the verse while we were talking. That's crazy. Man, y'all, yeah, that's the homie. Rapil's the <laughs> homie, for real. Talented. All three of them cats are talented. And then... um and then you uh you decided to not just release the the audio but then to put together visuals yeah yeah i, I actually put the beat out there the the song out there because i just wanted to test the waters mm -hmm. but i told the artist i said you know i don't think this song will be complete until i do visuals yeah now i've never you know i produce music and different stuff i'd never have done a music video okay ever before yeah and so this was the first time that I saw the visuals come together, and I did the same thing with the visuals. Mm -hmm. I got Young Mill. Shout out to Young Mill. Got Young Mill, just my guy, and I told him, he said, okay, so what you want to, I said, man, it's loyalty. It's loyalty. Yeah. And I said, I need you to interpret. This is this, I need you to interpret it. And he did exactly that. Yeah. I didn't tell him, hey, so you need to do a shot right here right. and you need to. Right. I said, just tell me where to show up. Tell us where to show up yeah. and what we need to do. That's what's up, man. Uh, the visuals are, are, are available. You can check them out on YouTube, on DJ OG1's YouTube page. Mm -hmm. 
um, you need to be subscribed to that because I know that there's there's other dope content there, other dope yep. content that's coming. Um, if this is your first time listening to the Cliff Notes podcast, then um, you may have missed the Young Mill episode, which was the first episode that dropped. It dropped oh. on January the 1st. Uh, you get an opportunity to hear about his journey and then how he's built um, Aeon Visual, which is the uh, the video company that, that shot that shot the loyalty video. So it all, I mean, it's all, it's all full circle. It's man. all connected, It's man. all connected. Um, speaking of connected, uh, I am just really, really grateful to be connected to to those folk who support what I do with with uh, Cliff Notes, which is part of the DJ Cliff Productions. And one of those one of those individuals or one of those groups is Acapella Apparel. They're they're a local apparel company based out of Portland, Oregon, and they have been supporting what I do for for quite some time now. I'm so grateful to to be partnered with a local company who, and it's not just like, oh, let me I'm gonna put some T-shirts out, although that's what I've done with Three Seven Limited, so mm-hmm. I get that. But these cats, man, they make they put out quality quality material, quality clothing, t-shirts, jackets. Right now here in Portland, it's 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 the winter time, and so they got some dope winter gear. Um, but they got a brand new brand new design that they just dropped. It's the lion head logo situation. I got on the I got on the uh, you know the 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 green the 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 camo situation the camo. right now. You know what I'm saying? Looking mighty oh. fresh there, brother. <laughs> right. Um, yeah, plus, I'm just don't the, set that joint no, down you nowhere. See, you see, I ain't <laughs> taking it off. You see, I ain't taking it off. Um, but check them out, man. Good people with really, really, really good clothing, man. Acapella apparel. It's A K E P E L E dot com acapella apparel you can check them out on social media as well and when you hit them up and you purchase your gear just let them know you heard about them on the cliff notes podcast um there's another connection uh there with with you and young mill can Mm. we talk about that man let's talk about it okay 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 so um both you get the exclusive bro (laughs) You know how um, I go down. I'm, you know, I'm just trying to say because I know some stuff is not is not yet available for you know human for human ears. Yeah, it's yet. 2020. That's what's up. So so there's a there's a, a a new a new situation that you are um, that you are going to be taking a leadership role in mm-hmm. in terms of providing and supporting and really doing a part of what you've done which is provide platforms for other people to do what they do right but on a grander scale now you and i have had conversations many a time and we were uh recently really talking about how we could um continue to do that to support the portland the portland music community um and find ways to uh, just 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 give more right and to be honest i mean let's just keep it 100 man that's not it's not easy because oftentimes when when we've tried or when an individual strives to provide those platforms the support isn't there right the effort isn't put there and right. and once again man one of the things that I remember Starchild saying to me is you know he shouldn't be working harder than the people that he's trying to support mm. he used to be on my head about that yeah. quite a bit and I understood where he was coming from mm-hmm. uh, when and me and him used to go back and forth about it uh, because for me, uh, my my intent mm-hmm. in terms of supporting uh, people in this region uh, is so spiritually connected mm-hmm. with what I feel I'm charged to do with the gifts and talents that God has given me that it wouldn't make sense in the natural eye. Right. Like it doesn't make, like I get it all the time. It doesn't make sense why I am even still in Portland mm-hmm. with the things that I've done mm-hmm. and the access I've had to other things. Mm-hmm. And so <clears throat> I look at it, it, it was a season and I think, it's a new season now. Mm-hmm. And so um, um, it's a couple of things that's going on. Like, f- uh, for example, Leadertainment company that I uh, recently started mm-hmm. uh, some months ago. And um, it's things that I've been doing. The Leadertainment, basically, if you look at life coaching and mentoring, um, Leadertainment is that for people who are f- mainly focused on uh, entertainment mm-hmm. and athletics. Mm-hmm. Um, in business Mm -hmm. and so the same concepts that I've been doing Mm -hmm. all this time I've I've sent I spent literally thousands and thousands of hours and I'm not exaggerating Mm -hmm. thousands and thousands of hours sitting down with independent artists athletes business 
you know, uh, entrepreneurs, et cetera, talking to them about ways that they can get their businesses going, they can grow both personally and professionally. Mm -hmm. And all those things I did and didn't get paid a cent for it. Yeah. At best, I was getting a karma macchiato. <laughs> shout out. You know, I was getting ready to shout out the I company, saw that. I but saw they that. ain't paying me. They ain't paying me for that. So you know where yeah. karma macchiatos might come yeah. from. But, you know, a lunch here, mm -hmm. and, and that was cool and everything. But now I'm at the point where, um, like I said, going into 2020 and beyond is, is I'm not wasting time. Yeah. And so – Leader tainment creates a space for me to continue to do what I'm doing, but it also creates a space for me to separate those that uh, that waste my time versus those that really value what I bring to the table and what I have to say. Yeah. How do you determine that? If you're not willing to pay for my time, you don't really value me. Mm -hmm. And when I say pay for my time, that doesn't always mean uh, monetary. Yeah. But it does mean if you're not willing to invest the same kind of energy and time into what I'm doing, why should I do that for you? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that's a real question. Because if I'm gonna if I'm gonna spend some time yeah. with you, yeah. that means that's time I'm not spending with me. That's not time I'm spending with my wife. Mm -hmm. That's not time I'm spending with my 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 friends, my real friends and and people that support me. That's not time that I spend on my own career or my own health. Yeah. So if my health and, and all those things that I value is not valuable enough for you to pay for my time, because see, people will go pay for a concert. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. People go pay for uh, um um, a happy meal yeah. or, or burgers or, you know, other stuff, mm -hmm. but then want life advice from me. Yeah. Yeah. Things that, that have them grow, but you're not even willing to pay that for my time. Yeah. Now I took, I take full responsibility for that. Yeah. And, and I, and I don't regret any time that I've invested in the community, other artists, athletes, or business people in doing those things. I don't regret it because it both taught me things and it allowed me to grow yeah. in a lot of ways. And it was great relationships I've, I've gained out of uh, some of those things. But now it's next level. Mm -hmm. It's a whole nother season now. Yeah. So leader tame it is that. And I have a couple of clients that I'm working with now that – value me enough there they said no I, I pay for your time because i value what you bring to the table and that's where i'm at with that yeah um so if you know if some people are watching this 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 uh podcast yeah. and they wonder why i haven't answered their calls it's because of that yeah and i'm willing to take you know the backlash for that oh he thinks he's that you know what i absolutely do but and <laughs> you know, but, but you know the funny thing is you know the funny thing is if you if you were talking about doing what you do as a DJ or as a producer, right, and and you were to then some, someone would come to you, oh, can I get a beat? And you just say, yeah, it's going to cost you this. Well, you know, 10 to 15 years ago, maybe I could have just given it to you. But just like another artist who's coming up, they get to a, to a stage in their career where they're saying, okay, no, this is what I value. And we don't think about it that way. Right. But isn't it sad to a certain degree that when it comes to building our character, when it comes to building our knowledge, that we don't value it that much. We don't value it as much as let me get the next hot beat. Let me right. get the next 16. Exactly. And I'll pay for that. But I'm not going to, I'm not, I'm, I don't see the value in, 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 in you helping me grow as a human being. Yeah. I think we got to change that, bro. We do. And, and and like I said, I had to take, you know, again, one of those coming into the new year, I had to look in the mirror and say, okay, oh, what have you done? Yeah. And what could you do better? And for me, I'm always, I do this with my kids. I do this with, you know, people that are close to me. It's like you teach people how to deal with you. Yes. Yeah. And I, you know, if I put it in a, a, a metaphoric type way, mm -hmm. um, I've spoiled some kids. Mm -hmm. <laughs> grown kids because yeah. I've allowed them allowed myself to be so accessible yeah. to people and I've given so freely on things that they would have to pay for yeah. in other markets I had a young young artist here 
told me they they knew I made beats and they said, yeah, uh, so I heard you make beats. And I was like, yeah. He said, yeah, you got to shoot me the beats. And I said, sure. Then, you know, you know how much you, you know, won't pay for it. He said, oh, I don't pay for beats. And I looked at him and I was like, you know what? I couldn't even get mad at that person. <laughs> right. I just was like, oh, okay. That you even thought to ask me for a beat for free yeah. without even considering it. Yeah. In some way, whether it's monetary or otherwise, yeah. then it made me think, okay, well, if I went ahead and gave him that beat anyway, I will be per perpetuating that mindset. Yeah. You know, and I, I did an experience, an experiment, and, and some people didn't even know they were being a part of it. Mm -hmm. uh, I did it on social media. As you know, I, I started the YouTube page. Right. And, uh, you know, I pushed the loyalty thing about that. And, and anybody that's uh, from a business standpoint uh, in branding understands that in today's world, YouTube is, is a tool that you can use and you can actually monetize it. Mm -hmm. So, of course, that, in, you know, uh, requires getting subscriptions and things like that. You get to a certain level of subscriptions. It puts you in certain categories where you can leverage. Right. Now, if you think... Someone like me that has used my platform for other artists and, and exposing other people, that the natural exchange and understanding would be, well, man, if he's used, he uses his platform to, to support and push us anyway, yeah. if subscriptions elevates his platform even more, why wouldn't I jump on that? Yeah. And so I put a thing, hey, I need... Subscriptions. All the, I got over seven thousand followers. Mm -hmm. Now I went through my followers, mm -hmm. and at least, at least over five hundred mm -hmm. artists and people that I follow, I know, mm -hmm. I know personally, right. and I'm at less than two hundred subscriptions. Yeah. yeah, and so what that told me was, okay, again, when we talk about time. Mm -hmm. Like, and I looked at how much time that I invested in certain ones of them. And I said, okay, well, you can't, you couldn't take the time. This doesn't cost you any money. Right. Now, if it, I was asking for some money or buy a product, right. yeah, you know, okay. Yeah. You know, people, you know, have different incomes and priorities. I understand that. Right. As a parent, husband, know that. Right. Business person, understand that. Right. But clicks, go subscribe. Yeah. Go subscribe. Yeah. And that couldn't happen. Yeah. Again, I couldn't get mad. Yeah. I couldn't get mad. I had to look at, okay, OG, you spoiled some people. So now you have to unspoil them. Yeah. yeah. You have to unspoil them and you need to focus on those areas that bring you back a return. Mm -hmm. And again, we're not just talking about monetary. We're talking about a return on energy. People that, that are willing to invest their interests yeah. in you, time, money, whatever. Mm -hmm. I've spent money mm -hmm. on people who come. We've talked about this. Yes, sir. Where, you know, I've gone out and support in, now, mind you, I'm in recovery. The last three years has been financial recovering for me. Mm -hmm. Yet, I'm going to spend money. Yeah. yeah. Like, I'm not talking about 10, 15, 20, like hundreds and thousands of dollars yeah. in support of artists, in support of their clothing companies, in support of their, their business ventures. Right. All those things to show that, man, you're important enough for me to invest time and money into. I just want you to do that for other people. Yeah. And so when I don't see that, then that means, okay, I got some, we got some selfish people. They, they're leeches. Mm -hmm. They just want, give, give me, give me, give me, give me, give me, but don't want to give that in return unless it's beneficial for them. Yeah. You look at someone like me, I keep it 100. There's not one artist here that's signed to OG. I'm not, I don't manage any artist here. Yeah. So there's no financial gain I get for playing any local artist music here. Yeah. None. Yeah. I spend six, seven hours plus putting together two shows mm -hmm. weekly mm -hmm. 
that I don't get paid for. Right. I've been on commercial radio. I walked away from that. So what makes them think that I would be motivated to do a, a show that I don't get paid for right. for them? But I do it. Yeah. Because I have an invested interest in wanting this region to win, this yeah. this community to win. But when I see, again, like our, our good friend Starchild would say, mm -hmm. you can't want it more than them. Right. Right. And I have wanted it more for this community than collectively they've wanted it for themselves. Yeah. And I have to stop that. And I think it's, there's also what you spoke to in terms of value and that's one of the things that I've learned on my journey is oftentimes those, those lack that, that lack of support, whether it be the, you know, uh, not saying, Hey, listen to in these streets on Friday nights, listen to, um, you know, group theory, make sure, even if you're not going to listen to it, you're on social media. You know, right. the fact that you don't do that, the fact that you can't take literally 30 seconds to go to YouTube and go to DJ OG one and click subscribe. So all you're doing is click and subscribe. You never right. even have to watch the channel. Just click subscribe. Click and you know subscribe. Saying? What I've learned on my journey is that that is a sign of a lack of value. And absolutely. And, and that's, you know, it's something that I think that we see, I think it's a bigger issue when we look at our society, you know, mm -hmm. when we look at how, we treat one another. We look at the, you know, we don't, we don't even value each other as, as human beings anymore. Right. And that's one of the things that I think um, is cool about what you're doing with leadertainment, leadertainment is that you are creating opportunities to educate people that know we got to do better, man. Yeah. You know, and it's, it's really hands on uh, coaching. It's yeah. coaching. And, and the thing I love about it is that it's something that that person wants. Yeah. Any client I deal with, it's something that they want. It's not me trying to tell them what to do. Right. It's me coaching them on what they want to do. Yeah. And so it puts me in a position, if someone doesn't take the advice and the coaching that I'm doing, guess what? They still paying me. So if they waste the time, right. that's on them. Right. It's not on me. Yeah. And so, uh, which leads into the PWG mm. movement that's getting ready to happen. As yeah. you was talking about the Young Mill uh, situation, um, I've 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 been blessed, man, to connect with some men, some serious businessmen. That uh, now we're going to be able to take a lot of the things that I've been talking about here, mm -hmm. uh, trying to gather people collectively to get together and, and build industry within themselves. Now I'm able to do that just on another level and it's, it's uh, not relegated to here in Portland. And, uh, so um, I'm not going to go into a whole lot of details <laughs> with it, but let's say it, it definitely takes me to another level of uh, transitioning because, again, at some point, man, um, you know, I'm going to always DJ. Mm -hmm. I'm always DJ until, you know, I'm no longer here as long as I love doing it. Yeah. Because I just love doing it, but I'm not going to always have to make money mm -hmm. off of it. And uh, things like lead entertainment, it has no no ceiling in terms of, you know, age limit, mm -hmm. you know, or, you know, wisdom is wisdom. Mm -hmm. And people will need coaching in life uh, and business as long as life and business is around. Right. So that gives me some longevity there. Uh, the PWG group, we're going to be building and, and putting on a lot of events that that those that are connected, mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm just going to say, those that are, that are connected and ready to grow, they'll be able to take advantage of, of, of the uh, resources that have become available. But guess what? If you're not, I'm not chasing you, right. and I don't owe anybody anything. Right. I, if I haven't proved to up until this time yeah. what I'm about, yeah. then I am i don't even apologize. Yeah. I got to yeah. go. <laughs> and that's, I hope, I hope people, I hope people hear that and they, and they, uh, I didn't want to say accept, but they, but they hear what, really what's being said. I mean, at the end of the day, man, uh, and I don't know, maybe, maybe it's life experience that has taught me, taught me that so much of what happens, it's really about relationships. Yeah, you you have to have talent, right? 
Mm -hmm. um, you've told the story many times on many different platforms yeah. about, um, you know, the first, the first, well, about your, your situation going to New York. Yeah. I mean, yes, when, when you were given a platform, you had to have the skills to show that you, yes, I can, I can open for Run DMC. I right. can open for Naughty by Nature. But that came out of relationship. Right. That came about, they came out of building. And if you don't value relationships, if we don't value one another, then when opportunities do come up and you think, oh, look at that, I want to be a part of that, especially when there have been uh, open invitations for years, uh, you know, please don't get upset when and and don't you know don't feel some kind of way when. Um, that, that door is closed. Yeah. And, and I shouldn't and, even say closed. I don't want to speak yeah. for your, you know. No, no, story. no. No, the, the door will only be closed to those that close. They close the door. There you go. <laughs> yeah. I, I never, you know, particularly because of how blessed I feel like I have been, one, to have life here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, to yeah. one, to be given uh, access to platforms. Uh, so I never will close the door to anyone. Yeah anyone because they're not mine to own the mm -hmm. doors are not mine to own uh those are given to me by god man mm -hmm. and so i've watched people close the door mm -hmm. i've watched people close the door on themselves and then they blame it on other people yeah why are those doors closed i'm like nah you you close that door you slammed your hand into that door you know and so that's where i'm at now it's like i have to guard and protect those things that have been given to me, not as a gatekeeper, but really as a protector of the access for other people that, right. that should be having access. Right, right. So if I squander it and just let, you know, a free fall for everybody just to come and they don't, they don't value that. Mm -hmm. Then again, I not only disrespect myself, I disrespect the God given access that has been given to me, uh, but I really, in a way, I disrespect those people that are trying to access it disrespectfully. Yeah, yeah. And so I, I, I no longer want to be in in that because I, I fear that if I allow that to continue, then those gifts and talents in in or those accesses and resources can easily be taken away. Yeah, no doubt. Um, so I would I would uh, encourage folks to stay plugged in um, to the things that you're doing because there are some new avenues like you've described that will be made available or that will, that will grow in, in 2020. If, if there's somebody listening and they're saying, yo, like the lead entertainment thing is something that's what I've been looking for, or mm -hmm. I'm really interested in, in, in getting some, some coaching, some right. life coaching. Um, how do they plug into that? Well, they, if they're on IG lead entertainment, it has a page on there and it has an email connected to it, but I'm going to tell you, straight up if you're not don't even dm email me anything if you're not willing to pay yeah for my time as it relates to that because again i respect the clients that i already do have yeah. and so i'm not going to take time away from them right to start coaching and 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 mentoring other people in that lane if they're not willing to pay because yeah. that's unfair to me that's unfair to my other clients right. and again 2020 I'm not wasting any time. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. See, man. money, I can I can give that back to you. Yeah. You can return money back to right. somebody. Right. You can't return time back to no, somebody. That's 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 one hundred. That's one hundred, man. Um other things that are uh you know that are that are going on in your life, man. Um so we talked a little bit about the the radio show. So you got two radio shows that you do on a weekly basis. Mm -hmm. You got in these streets. Mm -hmm. Um, what's that all about? Man, in these streets, of course, is the hottest songs and music that's in these streets. And some people think it's just hip hop. Nah, it's whatever is popping, whatever is is hot. You know, I don't care if it's hip hop, R and B. I try to kind of stick in those two lanes. Yeah. Uh, very rarely will I play a jazz cut or whatever because that's mainly for the Groove Theory Mix Show. Mm -hmm. But uh, whatever's hot, that's independently, uh, that's locally, that's you know commercial wise, whatever's hot. You know, I, I want to play it. Yeah. You know, yeah. that's what that show is about. The Groove Theory Mix show primarily is for R&B, uh, soul music, jazz music, 
I try to, as much as possible, play local music as much as it's accessible to me. Yeah, and I'm I'm pulling people's cars because y'all be slipping. <laughs> a lot of y'all R&B, you know, people that be complaining about you don't have access. But the Groove Theory Mix Show has been there for a while. You just don't get me the music or you don't have enough value in the show. And I'm going to do it as long as it... Uh, continues to have value mm -hmm. the moment it doesn't have value then guess what i continue to go do the other stuff that right. i'm doing because right. again the only invested interest i have in having the group there mix show or the in these streets uh uh show is for artists here in portland mainly mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and then independent artists around the country and then commercial you know artists but it's mainly for the people here but if they don't value it guess what i'm good yeah like i'm good yeah yeah so hopefully they'll they'll support it as it relates to you know uh, PG uh, PWG or Leadertainment. There's a reason why you should subscribe to my YouTube mm -hmm. because there's going to be stuff and opportunities and 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 uh, um, resources that become available through that channel. Mm -hmm. And so you want to stay tapped in so you don't miss it. No doubt, no doubt. If people want to plug into the radio shows. Um, when are you? When are you on? How can they? How can they plug in? Um, in terms of the radio shows, they can, man, they can hit me on on IG. Okay, man, it's been there for a while. Uh, for those that haven't known, right, right. Um, uh, you know, you can either hit me on IG DJ OG One, or you can hit uh, the DJ OG One Radio on IG yeah. as well, and it has yeah. an email there that you can submit music. Uh, and it has in, in, uh, instructions on there on how to submit it so you submit it right because, again, I'm not wasting any time. If right. you ain't take the time to send your music right and correctly, then I'm not going to even respond and say, hey, you got it wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm just not going to. I'm just deleting it. Yeah, yeah. I think I think when young, I think when I was talking to Young Mill uh, on the last episode, I think that's when we were, like, we broke it down. Or maybe I was doing that. Nope, sorry, I was doing that on, the, on, on shout out to, shout out to my, to my folk who do, they gave us, they gave us a show. But there is a format, so definitely read that format, um, in terms of how, how do I submit music? Uh, there are some specific things that are, that are very important. Um, so that you can not only have, and it's, and it's not just about having your music played on the radio, it's about what, what that means for you and your career. Mm -hmm. Um, and, so, so you definitely need to check in, um, check it out, man. You do, you do uh, the Groove Theory Mix Show on Friday nights mm -hmm. here, straight out of Portland, Oregon, X Ray FM, six p.m. Six to, to seven. seven. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you do the In These Streets Radio Show, also on X Ray FM on Saturday nights. After um, the amazing <laughs> Welcome to the Neighborhood show that comes on eight p.m. to ten p.m., then my just, bro hands it off to me. <laughs> I just be trying to, you know, I just be trying man, to clear hey, it away. Man, hey, just we got to put it out you, there, bro. bro. We got to put it, it out there. You. you know, we 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 team. Word we up, team. Bro. So, Saturday man. Night Live. You know what I mean? Right yeah, here, that's right. So so a couple ways that people can can check out the music that you're playing, and it's and it's and it's cool because it gives people maybe an opportunity to hear some music that they that they haven't um, that they're not familiar with. So I'll definitely check in, check in both of those shows. Um, I'm I'm gonna encourage everyone, whether you are a a, a long time listener of the Cliff Notes podcast, whether this is your first time listening, um, I have a couple of requests. Request number one, go to DJ OG One's YouTube channel and subscribe. That's all you gotta do. Don't cost you nothing. Just go there and subscribe. Um, also, I want to encourage you to check out both of his radio shows. Uh, if you if you're an individual who is on social media, check them out on social media because there's a lot of great content there regarding music, but also regarding life. And there are opportunities there if you are interested in, in being involved and in supporting what this man is doing. Uh, there are ways to plug in to do that. So I want to encourage folk who are listening to do that. I would be remiss being that this is my podcast if I didn't <laughs> also say go to the DJ Cliff YouTube page right. and subscribe. Do that. Uh, if you listen to podcasts, subscribe to the Cliff Notes podcast everywhere. Apple Podcasts. Uh, go to cliffnotes.com. If you have questions or comments, you can hit me up. It's cliffnotes at gmail.com. Um, so we're we're now into 2020. Mm -hmm. Aside from uh, the radio shows, you're obviously continuing into getting getting close to the to the ending the first half of the NBA season. Yeah. So people can, uh, if they're on social media, they'll see you post a lot of stuff from, from the motor center, which is cool. People mm -hmm. get an opportunity to, to sort of see what happens in the motor center. Right. Um, what else do you have 
on your on your calendar for for 2020 that people can look Ooh. out for well uh one of the big things uh january uh the 14th mm. i want to say mm -hmm. uh that's the meeting of the minds okay uh that's the next meeting of the minds and getting the collective together our last meeting together was very productive a uh, shout out to everybody that came out and gave their input um it's going to be a big announcement at this next one oh word next level you know uh, again as it's going to be kind of in my lead entertainment role really to push the narrative and uh for me it's all about empowering uh the next generation of uh of people that are invested in this hip-hop community so um, there's going to be a big announcement i'm going to be giving uh that day uh, so that's, so yeah. that, that's January the 12th. 12th, 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 12th. Yeah, let me get it right. Yeah, yeah. January 12th, Sunday. Okay. Yeah, January 12th. So um, be doing that 14th. I have a show. Uh, <laughs> at the, uh, I think it's going to be at the Doug Fur. The Doug Fur, I got a show. Uh, okay. My eyes are bad. So uh, <laughs> I got I to gotta pull, pull it up. Or they're going to kill me. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. It's the, the Womp Slump show okay january 14th is mike crenshaw a word that's right uh dj clavicle me of course cloud castle yeah cloud castle t walker i want to say that suggy p mm -hmm. ray brash cuddy womp womp something i, I can't pronounce it forgive my my eyes <laughs> and uh yeah so that's going down it's going to be kind of like a fundraiser that show so Got that going on, and um, man, just continue to um, um, formulate what I'm going to do with the rest of this uh, EP mm -hmm. project. Um, honestly, I don't know if I'm going to do it or not after the uh, loyalty. Oh, word! That's yeah. that's okay. I, I didn't, don't know. That's yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I, the loyalty might be might be it. I don't know. The people are going to tell me. Okay. Okay, I see what you're saying. Because it was for the people anyway. Right. It wasn't really about me. Yeah. It's for the people. So the people are going to create the demand on whether or not uh, an EP gets uh, completed or not. Uh, I know one thing for sure. I'm going to be, again, I'm going to be re-releasing uh, re uh, the Star Child album. Nice. Twist Genesis Chapter 1. Nice. Um, so I'm going to be doing that. And then. It's going right to be now. like Genesis Chapter 1, verse 1 or something, right? Right, right, right. Remix, right, remix. Right, right, uh, but right. I'm excited about about that. And um, other than that, man, uh, you know, finishing out the NBA season uh, this year. Hopefully, our guys, uh, you know, click it together, and and we just kind of head towards the playoffs. And uh, even as it relates to that, because I know a lot of people that do follow me see that I post a lot of uh local artists music yeah uh in my mixes and that's gonna change okay uh so people don't get surprised and it kind of goes back to what we talked about i've uh you know opened up my platform for uh, artists to be able to leverage and not everybody is fully taking advantage of that uh or or reciprocated that yeah uh in a positive way so i have to back up from that so you know, you might not really see a lot of that mm. the rest of the season. Okay. All right. It's too bad, man, because OG's got a he has a dope new setup now where he's got the he's got the video monitor. So he I, I see you mm -hmm. I see you spending local local artists videos yeah, and man. all of That's that. a lot of work. Yeah. Like to have or to bring somebody in to videotape that. Yeah. Again, now these artists are are my artists. Right. I'm not I don't So why why am I supporting it? And think about the time. You've been at, at the Bruh, games with me. I know. So I know. that a person can't click or post on their see, I'm posting on my page, right. go support, go buy right. this. And I got artists that won't even do that for me and I support them. Yeah. 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 So what that tells me is that okay, you don't really see the value yeah. in what I do. And that's my fault. Yeah. That's my fault. So I'm gonna take I'm gonna take that hit mm -hmm. and say I'm gonna give those opportunities for people that value that I go where I'm valued. Yeah. That, 2020. No, yeah. Nah, it's a it's a new it's I a ain't new wasting year. No time. It's a new decade for real, for real. Um while I have you here, uh I made the I made the official public announcement. Uh once again, man, shout out shout out to my guys, 
uh, Danny Ocean and, uh, and Shado, who uh, had me on their radio show. They gave me a show. They do a show on uh, a local Portland radio station, Freeform, on Saturday, every other Saturday at noon. And I made the announcement there. They asked me what I had planned for the new year. And I told them, man, the exclusive. Here we go. We bringing it back, baby. Yeah. Say it. Mic Say check, it. baby. Mic one, check, two, PDX. One, you know what I mean? One, two, yeah, one, two. I'm yeah. excited, man. Bruh, I'm, I'm, excited I'm super, ex super excited. Uh, shout out to my guy, Caso De Niro. He's working on the flyer for us right now. I'm going to wait till that drops before I announce the lineup. But uh, we're gonna, we coming back. February the 27th, lock it in your calendars. We are going to be at the White Eagle Saloon. Uh, you know what it is, man. It's so cool to just to continue to rock with my brethren, DJ OG1, producer Likewise, Trox man. Diesel. Um, we have a great lineup set, um, and uh, we're just excited to be back, continuing to partner with McMinimins. Shout out to McMinimins yes. for, for their for their care of, of the, uh, the folks uh, hip hop community. So we're excited to do that. Fe February twenty seventh, we'll, we'll be coming back. We got a dope lineup, and then we have some other things in in the works for later in the year uh, related to Mike Check PDX that I am so excited to announce. But um, but really excited about that. Um, there's another event that's going on in February, OG, uh, that I don't know if you can say anything uh, yet. You have, have, have to okay, wait. Okay, okay, we're going to pump wait. the brakes. We're going to pump the brakes. But that's why y'all got to stay plugged in and, um, you know, stay up on, on what's happening, what's coming. My dude. My guy. Bro, thank you so much, man. Man, thank you for having me, man. Absolutely, bro. Yeah. Absolutely. You know, your the moves that you make, um, as you've as you've really talked about during this during this 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 time we've had together, have been have really been selfless, and uh, it's been really my my honor to to have platforms like the Cliff Notes podcast, like the Welcome to the Neighborhood radio show, and really with DJ Cliff Productions to be that platform uh, for those who are selfless to to help promote and, and, and push what they're doing. So I'm grateful for what you've done. Uh, in a lot of ways, you've been a mentor to me, um, not e even prior to us building our personal relationship, mm -hmm. just watching how you move. So I'm grateful for that. And uh, it's a it's a, it's a a pleasure and a privilege to be able to provide this platform for you to continue to, you know, to share your story, share your journey. So thank you, brother. I appreciate man, it. Man, you're very welcome. And, and, and again, likewise, man, I appreciate you. And uh, the even the whole PWG uh, uh, move, man. You definitely know that uh, you're gonna have. We have to create some space for uh, you to come do what you do, man. Appreciate That's it. That's just continue to do what we've been doing. Yes, already yes. just okay. now on a whole nother elevated level, man. So I I respect and I appreciate everything that you are doing, have done, man, and continue to do, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you, man. God bless you for that. Um, Thank y'all for, for checking us out, man. You know, that's it. That's another episode of the Cliff Notes Podcast. Once again, check us out everywhere you listen to your podcast. If you listen to us on Apple Podcasts, please subscribe, but then also share. If you dig what we do, man, tell others to to subscribe to the Cliff Notes Podcast. We are everywhere. Anywhere you listen to podcasts, um, you can check us out at cliffnotes.com. Check out the DJ Cliff YouTube page. We're working on creating more video content so you get an opportunity to see these artists that you hear from. Um, also, once again, man, big ups to my folk over at Acapella Apparel for their continued support check them out a-k-e-p-e-l-e.com you know we got to support the supporters for real for real big ups to x-ray fm for their continued uh gracious hosting of the recording mm -hmm. of the cliff notes podcast and last but never ever least big ups to the homie theory has it for creating the official theme song for the cliff notes podcast nice Yo, until we have an opportunity to do this again, God bless you all. Times are crazy, man. They're seriously, seriously crazy. Let's be good to one another. Uh, love those who are around you. Um, shout out to Wifey, you know what I'm saying, for, for her continued support, man. Let's yes. try to do better in 2020 than we've done in the past. God bless you until we do this again. Peace. Peace.